fishing guy, yeah. Are you famous? No. Cheers, mate. That's a lifesaver. That's right. That was Jason. Good angler. So here we are, it's the second trip out, but this isn't my first attempt at my second trip. The first time I come down here on the weekend and that was an absolute disaster. I couldn't even squeeze in the tightest of bushes, there was that many people here. So I've come down here in the middle of the week, it's a little bit later than I'd like to, but to be honest with you, now is about the time when the river starts calming down with boat traffic. So it's a bit of a prime time really. I'm gonna be here for the night. I'm gonna be focusing mainly on carp tonight. I haven't got maggots with me, so I'm gonna avoid all the eels. Maybe put out a feeder rod on some sweet corn a bit later on. But for now, this is the info. Okay, so carp rods are out, but as expected, they're quiet as a mouse again. So I've stuck the feed rod out, minus maggots this time, and stick into some sweetie. And we've got our first fish of trip two, a cool little roach. He's nowhere near as big as the last one we had last time we was here, but hopefully we hit a shoal of these now, and maybe hit into some big boys. Well, what can I say? It's been a couple of hours now since that last roach, or rather the first roach. And I thought, yes, we're gonna smash into a nice shoal of roach, but no, nothing since. Not even a twitch on the feeder rod and certainly nothing on the carp rods. I've been stocking them up every now and then with fresh PVA bags, probably about every 45 minutes or so and the same with the feeder rod except i've been doing that probably about every 20 minutes or so because of the sweet corn but 
Uh, I'm not too sure. Confidence is at an almighty low at the moment. We've seen no fish today. It weren't like the last time where we saw some nice fish jumping about. But it is a very clear night tonight. Temperatures dropped slightly, but the winds died right down. The water, the reflection off the moon almost looks like a lake. It's that still. So it certainly feels carpy, but the night's still young. So fingers crossed, a nice late night bite wouldn't go amiss. So it has been literally hours since I last spoke to you and I have had to angle my absolute nuts off to get this fish. And don't be too excited because it's the tiniest of tiny roaches. I thought I was gonna hit a shoal of these earlier, but it just turns out that that's not been the case. It's been really hard to nick this second fish. We've had nothing still on the carp rods, but another one to add to the list of roach. We've, by sticking to sweet corn, we haven't just eliminated eels, we've eliminated perch as well. And there was a lot of perch in this swim when we got here. So I'm kind of regretting that decision now. But, you know, a couple more of these would do me. Maybe a little bit bigger would make me happy, but I'm not saying anything because last time I said that, I ended up not getting nothing for hours. So let's hope we don't catch anything else for our psychology and all that. Let's slip this guy back. Well, so far, apart from them two roach, it's been absolute shite. I really did think we was gonna hit it big on the roach tonight. It was, um, it started off quick on the first bite. As soon as I put that sweet corn out there, tap, 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 and then hours until the next bite. And it's now inky blue sky. It's just gone half past three in the morning and we still haven't had anything else. So. Let's kill some time. I'm gonna read some comments from you lot. Mr. Hayden, I'm sorry I cannot pronounce your first name at all. I'm dyslexic and that arrangement of letters is like algebra to me. But he says, great well-crafted video. Pleasure to watch. Reckon you're getting to know the river. I think what he means there is you'll never know what you're gonna get next time. Well, I do and it's not a lot. Next one from Ian. Any chance of a shout out in your next video? Me and my daughter Grace, after seeing your videos, have decided to take on a river in Essex. All the best from your Essex subscribers. Well, Ian, there you go. Before I actually do forget, if you haven't already, there is a great page over on Facebook called Catch and Release Nation. Now, they were kind enough to share our last video and said some really nice words about it. That's not the only reason I'm saying you should go over there and support them, because they do actually have a pretty good um, Facebook page over there. So many different types of fish from all over the world. And a great thing is as well, it's not just photographs of people catching the fish, it's many photos and videos too of people releasing them. Something that I think we should all support. Last message from Liam Johnson, who says, what editing software do I use? Well, to be honest with you, Liam, it's not what editing software you use, it's how you use it. It really doesn't matter. What I would suggest is whichever one you decide to go for, go on YouTube and check out as many tutorials as possible. Believe me now, that will help you a great deal. One great um, YouTube channel for helping out filmmakers is called Film Riot. There's loads of tips and tricks on there on what to do editing wise, plus tips and tricks on camera gear and how to make your own stuff if you can't afford the ridiculous expensive gear that is out there. So that's your guys comments. Now let's hope before sun does break through the trees over there that we get another fish on the bank.
All I can do, I'm afraid to say, guys, is apologise because this session has been a stinker. Last time, we had that really nice roach. This time, we managed to bag a couple of extra roach. That puts three on the scoreboard now on silverfish, which isn't fantastic, to be honest with you. I was hoping to get a lot more than that by now. But I think the best thing for me to do is next time try doing a whole day session, get down here nice and early in the morning and go from there onwards. But to do that, I'm going to head over to one of the weirs because I don't want to be interrupted too much with the old boat traffic. And of course, we're going to be sticking out the old carp rods just in case Lady Luck gets on our side and gives us a sneaky little bite. But as for this session, it's a total write off really. It's daybreak now. We want to get packed up and heading home before the morning traffic comes rushing in. Sounds ridiculous for me to ask on such a crappy session, but please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I promise you they're not all as bad as this one was. All the information and stuff and places for you to go will be in in the description below including where you can buy some of our wacky little t-shirts there really is nothing left for me to say again guys apart from tight lines because mine are very slack right now heavy nets and i will see you later we get your soul